Hello and welcome, I'm Vasquez and this is The Production Line. In today's episode, we are going to create another vehicle or another model. I am going to upgrade my lines, I am going to build my factory even bigger. So let me just start showing you how to create another model on your production line. You go here and click here on the similar model, like that, and you have another model. Simple guys. It's a really, really simple. I call this model A, I will call this A1, like that. But this is going to be upgraded version of this basic vehicle. Model A is a basic. It doesn't have any of the research, research things that I have. But the model A1 will be a premium vehicle, so the price will be higher. And let's go here, click on the model A, as you can see, and I don't have anything on it and I will include some stuff because it will be a better for my customer and I will sell more cars but let's go here to the model A1 I will include everything here voice recognition, uh, sunroof, music let's include all of the stuff and let's bump the price and now you can see that we are having price of $42,000 and if I move this up you can see uh, we need more features to sell the car on this price I will go and start selling it at $35,000 like that and second part you need to do is go here and change the schedule add a new entry and now you have production of model A1 and let's go and upgrade our basic model I think I will place some music on it and a heater why not this is our cheapest model it will have heater and music and our top model will have everything so uh, in the first episode I showed you how to create your line but I added some stuff because I wanted to show you how to create your second car, how to create your line even bigger and more detailed. And uh, let's go here to our panel. You can see that I have a lot of new stuff here that is not here. So uh, we can now build more lines and our production line will be much, much detailed. And chassis assembly now go here as you can see we can build chassis even de detailed more and more detailed because I have a little bit of money here and I have a lot of research here that I want to use I will now maybe this isn't the smartest thing but I will delete the line that I'm currently having this is the basic line and I want to create something uh, bigger and more and more efficient that I'm currently having. I will delete all of the stuff like this and let's go and create new lines. Go here to the chassis assembly and you can see we have more research that I didn't do. Uh, let's go fit, fit axles. Let's start again in the same way like the, the first one. You can see the time needed to build some of the parts. You can see 4 minutes for the fuel tank. And we have more details here, but we need to research those. So we'll go and fit body frame. Uh, it's needed 20 minutes, so I will leave one empty spot because probably I will build two more. Uh, doors, this is not that, only 4 minutes, fit doors, fit roof, and paint is always a problem, paint is always a problem. Uh, let's go with undercoat, and the dry undercoat is a problem, 12 minutes, paint finish, and the dry finish is a little bit slow and let's delete the quality check here like that 
let's close all of these things because we use them already and let's go to the powertrain uh, let's see powertrain it's needed 2 minutes 45 seconds but let's move this a little bit dry finish I will build immediately too because I'm going to need those uh, fit powertrain we can collect uh, connect this really easily radiator and uh, let's leave like this let's see three minutes and uh, three minutes for this three minutes six minutes seven minutes let's see no we didn't have any research available and we have more and more detailed production line we can now uh, have lights horn seats windscreen uh, up upgraded separately and let's go and uh, add those things three minutes for the lights three minutes for horn Three minutes for seats, two minutes, and we have more and more research available. So let's go and leave a room for these two to be connected like that. Controls. And we don't have anything research research here, so we ha will have a simple quality check, and we will have export like that. But we can go and export like on th on the first side. It's maybe simpler. Let's go and connect all of this. A really, really simple connection. Okay, we need to connect our conveyors. We will do the same thing like in the first video. We have exports on this side. So uh, this will be connected like that. roof let's upgrade all of the slots and let's place another one here because we are going to need a lot of resources to be able to have this factory Let's connect like this and let's speed the time a little bit. Let's see, we have research. Uh, as you can see, I done a lot of the stuff here because I wanted to show you uh, how to create a new vehicle, how to create a bigger and detailed line and now I will research more and more stuff that I can put in my cars because I will have uh, better selling cars than I did before. It will cost a little bit more. 
and let's see we are currently producing a vehicle let's keep see the schedule model a model a1 and now we are producing two cars on bigger and much detailed line than before let's speed the time up we have a lot of money that is good but we are currently losing because we didn't produce any vehicle uh, and uh, I didn't take any loans so far so I'm really really good uh, again the next research that I'm going to do is power because I'm spending a lot of money buying electricity so I can fix that uh, the next research is going to be for power let's see where is the problem in our production line so we need to upgrade some of the stuff as you can see this is doing pretty good job but here we are having some issues so we'll buy more robots to increase our production and let's see we are selling cars like crazy it's no no it's not a problem for us the company is producing cars and still a problem with body frames so we can buy another one and now we can speed things up a little bit okay let's go and buy a sunroof now we have all of the upgrades that we are needed let's see nothing he here to upgrade you need to be careful when you are producing a new model uh, or you're producing some of the new features for your car. If you don't upgrade, uh, maybe you have something on your doors or, sorry, let's go here, better example. For example, we are researched up and top and you didn't click it like here, so the line will stop and you will not produce any cars. And yeah, uh, fit body frame, we can add one more here to increase our production of our cars as you can see uh, fit roof is doing really good job 5 minutes 33 seconds and this is taking 17 minutes so fit body frame we can increase our production even more let's see can we upgrade this it's not really good because i didn't leave much room here but never mind I want to increase the production of my vehicles let's connect it like this <coughs> and now we have two robots building our chassis and they're moving onto the roof section even faster now we are producing cars and as you can see we have a stop because I didn't upgrade my heater like this and now we have a whole a lot of cars here that are not produced because of that and now we can upgrade fit roof just to be, be a little bit faster because we are producing on two sides now uh, let's upgrade what we need to upgrade seats okay let's upgrade seats and okay we have upgrade heater over here in car music as you can see we need to upgrade all of the stuff if we want to have our production even p faster or as you can see I'm currently not good with money because I didn't sold any of my vehicles as you can see there's a lot of cars here that are not sold and if I don't sell one car really really fast I'm going to go bankrupt come on money problem money problem <laughs> come on sell sell please yes yes okay we are earning some money that is good news now we are going to sell all of these cars and we will not have any problems as you can see dry undercoat paint job it's all the slow processes that I'm currently having over here and that's why I can't uh, produce more vehicles but I can upgrade this even more with my research or I can add more of these buildings but currently I don't have any money so I need to research those things let's see uh, model a1 o overpriced okay underpriced 
so we can decrease our pricing but I will not do that because we are selling our cars they're not staying uh, that long in a showroom uh, as you can see they're having some defects that's not really good because of this we don't have the best quality of our cars currently it's only 70 percent but we need to fix that and I sold all of those cars and now we are back on the production line let's see uh, paint undercoats this is and yeah this is a good thing when you research something go and just click this upgrade all of the things if you want of course and now all of the slots that I upgraded manually are upgraded by themselves let's make a connection over here and let's okay this isn't very good uh, paint finish okay it's connected and now we are going to produce more vehicles let's see model a1 is not selling very good let's go here it's going to say that the model a1 is overpriced so we can lower the pricing a little bit more a little bit down to sell our cars let's go and research the power that i want so so bad let's go and research our power and let's click on model a1 bluetooth support as you can see here very rare that is very good for me because uh, the car has uh, features that other manufacturers don't, don't uh, put in the, their cars uh, so this is good for me I can sell my car even faster so far we are okay uh, we are okay with money uh, cars are not selling that good because we have some of the problems here because I don't have any quality check uh, I don't really like that let's decrease the pricing a little bit because I want to sell it I don't want to stay in the showroom uh, we are currently producing six vehicles on a we on our <laughs> sorry <laughs> we are currently producing four vehicles it's decreasing a little bit but we are having uh, problems to sell our cars uh, I will increase the time uh, because I want to fix this problem with electricity that is costing me a lot of money a lot of money is costing me by electricity let's see almost twenty thousand dollars per hour that is huge huge money let's see what is the problem with our cars you're not producing enough cars model a1 there's nothing let's see click on a1 poor value for money it's not poor value we are selling good cars but I will decrease the price a little bit more let's do it like this because I want to sell them uh, it's uh, a problem I don't have that much money and the cars just need to sell if we want to make this company successful okay this is finished that's great news and I will research marketing because we will need this if we want to make our factory successful uh, let's go and place a power plant now I will show you let's go first to expenses I am currently spending seventeen thousand dollars per hour on my electricity let's go and place two of these power plants and let's go here expenses and we need to wait a little bit to change this uh, this will decrease okay this is a definitely a problem we need to sell the car let's decrease the price 
and let's see can I add one more feature no nothing research currently okay now they're selling we're going to increase our money value here expenses power purchase eighteen thousand dollars let's see uh, this is all doing okay we have some resource pro resources problem here but that it's not that uh, big we can fix that by adding one more conveyor belt or we can build let's see a supply stockpile like this and uh, create it somewhere near of the problem and we can have more stuff on it it's really really simple let's see do we have a problem on this side no everything seems to be working just okay the cars are going in that's good that's good Okay, six, seven vehicles. Let's see, seven hour, seven vehicles per hour we are producing, so that is good. Uh, yeah. Let's see the electricity bill. Okay, we are in the plus. We are making money. That is, that is good. That is good. Power purchase. This decreased a little bit, but we need to have more of these guys if we want to have a uh, less money spent on electricity so uh, I am doing uh, currently very very good I'm selling cars so I will use some of the money to increase uh, my uh, earnings because I'm not going to build anything here I can just place it with no problem uh, and I will increase my price on the model A1 and on the model A just a little bit because we are selling our cars and uh, we can earn more money let's see the research for marketing is going good so guys this is basically it this is the the second tier uh, sorry this is the first tier production where you have a uh, more detailed production line uh, since in the first video and uh, as you can see we are doing uh, really good we are making money we are selling our cars I am not taking any loans uh, I am decreasing my expenses on electricity as you can see now I'm uh, spending thirteen thousand dollars but I can improve that even more because as you can see here I'm only producing 33 percent of my electricity needs and the factory is doing so far okay uh, I need to have more research to be able to upgrade my paint uh, uh, dry finish can be faster or I can add more stuff on these sides without any problem but currently the factory is doing its job it's efficient and uh, we are making money that is really really important stuff and uh, we can add more models or we can improve our model a or model a1 even more so as you can see model a is a very very upgradable model uh, a1 is our top model so far and we are producing it on the good rates and we are selling it so uh, this is it guys for the, this second episode the, where I wanted to show you how to create your uh, line more, with more detail, how to create it but still have it efficient, uh, how to sell your cars and uh, I showed you some of the research that I done. Uh, let's go here in technologies. As you can see I added a lot of stuff to my second vehicle and now they're selling very good because of those reasons um, people are buying it with no problem this is the reason that I don't have any loans 
and uh, yeah I'm earning money selling cars producing in a I can say efficient line and that's it for this today's episode I will create something uh, more detailed on the next one and uh, we are going to deal with marketing I will show you what you need to do and why is marketing good for you for your company and uh, of course we are going to deal to increase production on this simple line that we have here uh, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next episode episode bye everybody